Hey guys, I hope that everybody is having a wonderful day. Uh, today we're going to be starting a new EU4 campaign, but it's not just going to be any campaign. This is going to be a collaboration campaign with my friend Provis, who I'm sure many of you guys are aware of. Who? What? Where? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Chewie, how you doing? Yes, kind of a big deal, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. More excited <laughs> to be playing with the one and only Chewy. That's be uh, that's for sure. He gets the privilege of playing with me. So, 100%. <laughs> this campaign is going to be a succession campaign. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, that means Provis and I are going to be taking turns, passing the save back and forth upon Monarch Death, which there will be plenty of. Oh, yeah. Lots of death and decay. It'll be fantastic. And I'm not saying I'm going to be rooting for you to die so I can play more, but I'm slightly rooting for you to die. Well, I'm sorry, right, because I'm, I'm rooting for you to die as well. See? Uh -huh. <laughs> so with that being said, there's going to be a few exceptions that we will make. For example, if our ruler only lives for like five years, we're going to probably play another one just because we want to make sure that we are getting time with the save. Seems only fair, but surely that's never going to no. happen. Live forever, immortal trait, make a custom ruler. Oh, boom. That's a great idea. We should do it sometime. Maybe next series. <laughs> Maybe next time. So starting as Naples, the goal will be to form the two Sicilies, unite Italy, and possibly push for a Roman Empire. But that really depends on what you guys want to see, right? I mean, obviously Roman Empire. Empire is awesome. We got all the Roman files in the chat, right? So you know what you guys should do? You should uh, let us know in the comment section down below. Hit all that viewer engagement and make your voices heard. Yes, yes. Leave a comment. Let us know. And if you have formed Roman Empire, how did you do it before? We want to know. We're very curious. It's very important that you tell us. Super important and definitely not for YouTube <laughs> algorithm reasons at all. So episode one is going to be on my channel. Uh, and for subsequent episodes, if it is or is not on my channel, regardless, there's going to be a collaboration playlist linked below in the description of Provis and I's videos that way you can find it so you don't miss out on a single video absolutely not make sure you hit every single one of those videos hit that playlist it's gonna be the easiest way to see anything okay guys so let's get into some naples all right man good luck have fun and i'll see you when you're dead all right so if you guys are new here and you're finding me from Provis's channel welcome i'm chewy and i play eu4 and uh, if you like eu4 i suggest you subscribe to my channel but uh i'm going to be taking over the first part of uh, this campaign here as Naples, the tale of two Sicilies uh, with Provis. So I'm sure we explained plenty of that stuff in the beginning. Uh, if you're wondering why my game looks the way it does, I have a mod pack linked in the description. Also, the music is also included in the mod. It's all Iron Man compatible. Uh, we are not playing on Iron Man due to concerns about, you know, switching the file over and stuff like that. But uh, yes, if you wonder why my UI is big or why my game looks the way it does, it is because of a mod. So anyways, we are at Naples. We are the personal union under Aragon. Hopefully not for long. Uh, and so for the case of this, I'm not really sure how long we're going to play for. Uh, obviously, as a succession campaign, we're hoping to switch out um, every ruler. Uh, being under a personal union is a little bit of a thing. If, if it's only going to be five years or so, I'll probably continue to play and uh, we'll see how things go. But right off the rip, we're going to build up the force limit. No reason not to. And let's turn our army maintenance down nice and low. Turn our forts off. No point in paying for them. And uh, right off the rip, I guess we can look to see if it would maybe... I, we get an event that will give us independence, but um, it may be in our best interest to um, look for it. He's rival to the Ottomans, huh? His opinion of me is negative. As I build up my units, hmm, I don't know. Let's improve with the Ottomans. It might be nice to get some alliances with the Ottomans. These guys will defend, or will uh, allow me to go almost certainly. I have a truce with Aragon. No, no, you do not. Oh, I have a truce with Aragon. Right. Till 47. Okay, so if we do not get our thing in the meantime, we will we'll do that. Um, I'm being raided, which is super annoying. So what we need to do here is send our ships to go out and protect our trade. And a nice little trick you can do here is you take your galleys and you have them hunt pirates in Genoa. And since pirates will also be able to reach up here to Venice, I should also have another half of them go and protect trade in Venice. Sadly, we're going to get raided all month, so there's nothing I can do about it. But on the monthly tick, they will no longer be able to raid us. Let me take a look over here. 99%, 99%. That uh, is really good. That means if they try to raid us, instead of getting 99 ducats or 100 ducats, they get one ducat. So all good things. So lose those opinion of me or trade power. I'll take the trade power, please and thank you. So much so, I will actually turn on the trade power edict over here. That seems appropriate. 
Uh, usually it's worth it as far as financially go. It looks like it's earning us an extra half a ducat a month, so I will say worth it. I'm actually feeling compelled to uh, hire some advisors here. Let's get some prestige. And obviously I need to do these burger things because I haven't done those yet as well. So let's do that. Um, Monopoly on paper wouldn't get us a whole lot of money, so it's probably not worth it. I will go private trade fleets, free enterprise, and uh, we have negative prestige, so patrons of the arts is a good one. Nobility, supremacy of the crown, right of council. And uh, what I like to do is go with the primacy of the nobility. Gives us extra mill mana. Loses a little bit of crown land, but uh, you'll see where we're going with this. Uh, grapes, let's go... We'll go with the Monopoly on Wine. A little bit of money is going to be helpful. Overset of the clergy. And uh, let's go with... Religious state. Give us a little bit more crown land. And then I will sell titles, which will take us all the way down to zero crown land. Um... And you can see that um, we'll get an event here, the estate statutory rights or something like that, which will give us a bit more crown land for free, essentially. It's pretty good. At the cost of some... Um, oh, our force limit for Navy is up a little bit. Maybe it would be in my best interest to build a couple more ships, specifically galleys. If we're going to be fighting Aragon, which I will certainly be doing because we're going to need to take Sicily after all. We are the uh, the tale of the two Sicilies, right? So let's uh, we'll see how things are going here. Just gonna kind of play it slow here initially, and and make sure that we are not gonna be getting bopped by anything unprecedented. So he's got rivals in Morocco and the Papal State, but his enemies are Castile, Papal State. Morocco and Portugal. So would Portugal d defend me? He would. Castile would no longer, because he's at war. So let's um, let's improve relations with everybody who could possibly um, support our independence, and then uh, we can push for that. But yes, being the first episode in a campaign, obviously it's a really big deal that uh, it gets good engagement, because if people find the first episode, they tend to find the subsequent episodes. Obviously, with episode one going up on my channel and uh, subsequent episodes going up on Provis's channel, um, I anticipate more people finding me through him. Though, uh, if you guys would, take a second to leave a like on the video. It does help us out a lot more than you may know. Uh, leaving a like kind of tells us that YouTube's, uh, tells YouTube's algorithm bot to say, hey, people appreciate this video. Let's show it to more people. And uh, you get bonus points, actually, if you leave a comment. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Have you ever played Naples before? Have you ever formed two Sicilies? Have you formed Italy? If so, how did you do it? And uh, how did you feel about it? Because I feel like Italy is probably one of my favorite tags in the game. I am personally a big fan of Italy. So we have not been released yet. Our truce with them is up in April of next year. So we're just sitting and waiting. No rush. Once we get our galleys up, we'll be much better off as well. Because we're, we're popping out quite a few galleys, right? Nine more galleys? Yeah. What's this up to? What, 13 galleys? I believe so. It's quite good. Get them over here and everybody grouped up. Shift, click, and drag in order to select similar units if you don't know. So say I have this one selected. I shift, shift and click and drag over here. It selects both of them. So it's useful. Also, if you want to select... See, right now, I would select my army if you click and drag. If you control, click, and drag, it will open... See? Control. And that opens up. That selects only the uh, the army or the navy that you are collecting. So being over our limit is going to hurt us. So let's mothball our fleet here. That'll help us out with our economy a bit. There you go. Estate statutory rights gives us um, some crown land at the cost of this here. So what I will do here is I will yoink that crown land. Do that. And that'll give us a bit of crown land. And uh, sadly, it sets us at 25 minimum autonomy, which is going to hurt our force limit a wee little bit. But that's okay. Uh, let's get rid of one unit here, just to do that. So yeah, it hurts your economy a bit, but uh, the extra two mana a month is going to be significant. Um, let's go with trade efficiency as well. We can afford him. Uh, focus on mill early is generally a good idea, but um, I don't know what our king is going to look like once we get independent, so we're going to hold off on any national focus. I have no idea what our first idea groups will be. I am assuming that Provis will get to choose that. So, and we haven't. I, we're kind of. We kind of have a untold rule that we're not going to really talk about much about what the decisions. We kind of want to leave surprises for each other. Oh, nice! This is really good. Okay, so 
here's a little trick for you guys if you don't know about it if you get an event that's going to give you a stability uh which obviously this one we're going to take prestige and stability is good um what you could do is you can take an a stab before that so you know how it goes up 50 percent per stab so if you have zero it's 100 is the base cost this gives you plus one gives you a plus 50 percent cost so it's 150 200 so forth so if you take this it would be 150 but if we take that so it's essentially 150 free admin and a stab of course so that's really good super useful that will help us out having high stability is just good in general helps us out with stability uh, gives you extra trade power i suppose tax is good missionary strength is nice institution spread is good um i don't think we're going to be able to spawn the renaissance though i don't know i've seen it spawn in some pretty random places before let's actually see if we could spawn it how we would go about it because it's going to take some time anyways so we could spawn it so it has a chance to spawn it each so it can't spawn in malta that's funny is not malta never malta so it can spawn anywhere in italy that has at least uh 20 dev or be your capital so um it either has to spawn in naples or nowhere else by the looks of it unless i were to dev somewhere else which i'm not going to be too interested in deving initially because that doesn't make sense burgundy's opinion of me or base tax that's fine with me go with some dev cost here are these guys loyal let's wait until our burgers are loyal actually well loyal uh happy is what i mean because you can get a dev discount which will save us some 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 mana in the long term so let's recall our boys here we're going to declare independence asap turn my army maintenance up we can go a little bit in debt i'm not too concerned about it we have plenty of money ideally we can uh, declare independence because that way um we can take our clay from him as well which would be good truce is up in april i believe so this is good march and then april so i want these guys to all go home at war so they don't get wiped out by the the problematic navy of these guys where are they at here so these guys are at war with france really so they joined england okay so that looks like we're not gonna get them that's unfortunate but i can get the ottomans pope man maybe let's improve relations with them a month or two well no it's not gonna happen actually 45 ducats i will definitely do that even better so let's uh, wait the monthly tick, get our support independence from the Ottomans, from these guys, from these guys here, once we can. Here we go. And we will declare our independence war. Should be pretty straightforward. Uh, Ottomans will beat up on Venice. I will hopefully not get um, annexed. Some of your navies are out of port here. So let's take a look. Make sure that uh, Aragon... So Aragon's entire fleet, he's got 22. So he's got four ships somewhere else. There's one there. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to get um, stack wiped here. So I think we're okay. Let's get an admiral over here. We're not going to have naval dominance though. Yeah, maybe we will. It's hard to say. So let's have these guys head in here. This is a little trick to prevent us from getting stack wiped here. Have you guys prevent in Venice? But before we go out, we will declare war. It doesn't say I'm going to lose stab, which is weird, right? I should lose stab. I only lose one. Really? Interesting. All right. So our king is uh, Adorno, the 351. Uh, I suppose I could wait, have waited, but um, I have cores on all this. So obviously we're going to do that. So let's hope that we can manage this. Numbers are definitely in our favor. I'm hoping that the Ottomans will uh, make some make some splashes over here. I'm going to preemptively try to get mill access for them. Well, no, I will not do that, actually. Okay. We definitely have naval dominance as well. Eh, it's really close, actually. How many galleys do you have? Let's take a look at how many galleys. Uh, where am I at here? 
They, I have 14 and Venice has how many? I am trying to click on this button. It's not working here. Hmm. Go with war enemies. So Venice has 16 and I have 14. 10 in this stack here. This is transports. So let's see here. The more of them that we can wipe out, the better. Naive enthusiast. That's unfortunate. It's a four shock general. I'll take that. So if we can come over here and see just down, that would be good. Venice won't be able to get to me. Almost guaranteed. Ottoman should handle Venice. Portugal maybe will handle Aragon. It's hard to say. Let's take a look at our... All right. So these guys have access over here. Do I have some Diplo slots? I have one Diplo slot. I'll give them access through Austria. Italian Wars. Yes. That's his, that's 13 of his galleys. So if I can, I want to get over here. Yes, this is good. Blockade this fleet here. This port here, rather. All right. We need to catch out as many of the smaller stacks as possible at the same time. So that's eight galleys for him. If we can wipe them out, that's all the better. Yikes. We're losing. Hmm. Where are we at here? Yikes. Okay, well, we only lost one there, which is kind of okay. So we come in here and we get a repair tick. So Venice is dogpiling over here. Urbino's a hill fort, I believe. So that's not terrible. I essentially just kind of need to turtle here and wait. They have to take my capital in order for them to get to King Warscore. So I'm not too concerned. Um... So I need to grant independence to myself, and then I want to take all of this. Can I do it? 60 AE. We can totally do that, actually. The Diplo is a little painful. And I, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not actually sure if this is the best move. This was just my first attempt, and I figured, why not just declare independence? I know you get it through an event, but um, I wanted to try it and see how things went. So I'm going to let these guys repair a couple more months. Uh, let's leave behind you and let's group up over here with these guys. Steal our galleys off their mission. See if we can beat up on them. It's a 13 fleet. Oof, yikes. Um, this papal fleet is coming in to help us out. Very good. That's a win. Let's come on in and dogpile on their navy. The better... The better we beat up on their navy, the better for us in the war. So it looks like we stole a galley back after losing a galley. So good news. Get down here. Group up on these guys. Aragon. All right. This is fine. I could take these galleys over here. This is risky, but uh, eh, I knew it was going to happen. All right. Let's dock them up there. Let's come up here again. Yep. I'm going to get raided. There's nothing I can do about it. It's not worth it. So that's 13 galleys. I have 12 galleys here. The Ottomans are in there with a few. All right, they fled. That's good. They have nine galleys here now. The Ottomans are putting in work over here, so this is good. Uh, ideally, we can make our way over to Constantinople and siege them down. The Ottomans are not likely to uh, attack them while in this war. So if I could get some spy network... He's allied to Serbia and Wallachia. We can handle that. Yeah, sorry, Pope man. My fleet is not not feeling very good. So let's um detach the really busted up ones. Oh, it looks like we don't have any like really busted up ones. So let's come up here. Ooh. That's a nice Savoyard stack there. I need to help him win these sieges over here. Seven percent. Nice. Food shortage is good. Yeah, we got a formidable navy. Oh, somebody lost all their galleys. Ottoman, what happened to you, man? Their navy got wiped out. I say formidable. Uh, still not hegem hegemonic. So, I don't know, man. We'll see how it goes. Um, now, piecing out his allies separately is going to be good for me. Savoy's so on medium enthusiasm. 
If I blockade him, that will help us out a bit as well. So I'm going to wait on the monthly tick here. Or not on the monthly tick, the siege tick rather. And I know I'm on a new ruler, uh, but since it was kind of the opening move, I'm going to, we're going to keep going. See how, see how uh, Francesco, Francesco Adorno does for our nation. If he is a benevolent leader. Get a monthly tick. Very good. Come on out. Just a nice little tip trick there. There we go. Oh. There we go. Let's occupy all this over here. Get over here. Get a repair tick. Detach the busted ones. Mm, let's keep you guys over here for now. Don't want them to siege down Rome. That would be bad for us. Yikes. Get one more monthly tick here. It's a nine stack of galleys. Let's pop out here with my nine stack of galleys. Let's actually send out a couple more not so damaged galleys. There we go. Looks like we stole one more, which is good. All right, let's get these guys grouped up over here. Savoy and Venice are both on medium enthusiasm. So let's get a monthly tick here and see if we can blockade Venice. Money for base tax. It's fine. I would rather not spend money on it, but I can just take the money that we just got. We just spent and get some more money back from it. So this is good. Now that we're not a subject, we have some extra force limit. So let's get some more units over here. Our manpower is okay. 16 galleys on our way to see to uh, blockade Venice. There you go. So I, I stutter step there for a moment just to let him know. Then I'm going to go in and beat up on him if he doesn't peace out. Uh, we'll take money. There we go. 52 ducats for me and Venice is out of the war. That's a big deal. Now, hmm. sadly, I won't be able to get a claim on Byzantium. I didn't realize that. Hmm. We'll see what we can do here. I might have to no CB them. Not ideal, but we can make it happen. But that right there, piecing Venice out of that war. Instantly, our naval game, we are completely hegemony. Oh, look at... I don't care about Portugal. I would. I will literally never use them as an ally again. So once he pieces him out, check this out. Once he pieces him out, we're going to gain like an extra 10 war score. So <laughs> all is well. Let's get up here. Blockade Savoy. I will... Take some war reps and some money from them. I'll get a bit of the money, but I'll, most importantly, I'll get a ton of the war reps. Well, all of them, actually. This is fine. And now it's just us versus the Ottomans, or versus Aragon, rather. Portugal's over here with his fleet. I don't need you guys attaching to me, though. Kind of want them to pop out so I can sink them. Yeah, his war exhaustion is going to be going up. Being occupied as well as being blockaded. How much is it going up, I reckon? 0.3. Not bad. Ooh. All right. So how old are you? Ooh, Francesco, you are young. You are a young buck. Well, I suppose if we have some transports, we should get over here and start sieging down Sardinia as well. Uh, I don't care about the goods produced. Goods produced isn't going to make us much money early on. Uh, Let's attach you guys there and get them over here. They don't think they have any units on uh, Sicily. And so the way that this uh, this campaign will be set up is I will cut it up into roughly 30 minute chunks. So if I do not live out my entire um, guy's lifetime within the time frame that I'm looking for, um, or, you know, within the time frame that we have allotted to ourselves, I will... Um, just play uh we what i'm trying to say man see I, I can't play the game and talk at the same time derp so what i want to do is we are going to um play for our ruler's lifetime whether it's for you know an hour and a half worth of recording or 30 minutes worth of recording depending on if they live at least five years five years is the soft limit we set for ourselves where if, if they die before that then we can um re, re redo it get another ruler's lifetime basically 
Let's uh, detach a blockade here, because that's his entire navy, yeah? Oh, yeah. Good. He has his entire navy in port, so we can just blockade him. Portugal peaced out. Fine by me. 94%. This is good. So neither of these guys will want anything from him that I'm aware of. He, yeah, I don't think that he's gonna. He's able to even ask for anything. And um, my king is dead. <laughs> well, uh, okay. It has been six years. I said five years was the limit. So I suppose uh, Ladislao II Visconti. Visconti is Milan, huh? Okay, well, let us get a royal marriage with them. And uh, see if we can maybe get a PU on uh, Milan. That would be good for us. Let's take this mill tech. There's no reason not to. And uh, I'll save it and pass it on over to Provis. So if you guys are excited for this campaign, do make sure that you let me know. Let both of us know. Leave a like on this video like I'd said before. Uh, also, comment down below. Let me know. Have you played Naples slash um, anybody formed Italy or Two Sicilies before? I know I formed Two Sicilies as Aragon on stream and that was fun. But uh, yes, I'm going to plug my stuff real quick. I do have a Patreon if you would like to support what I do. I do multiple streams every week over at twitch.tv and uh, twitch.tv slash Chewy Shoot and uh, videos every single day here on YouTube and uh, mostly EO4 focus, but uh, I'm working on some other strategy titles. So if that's something you guys would like, make sure you drop a follow over at Twitch. Uh, also, I have a Discord linked in the description as well as my Twitter. I try to be somewhat active on there, but uh, yes, I'm going to pass this on over to Provis. So stay tuned or um, check the playlist linked in the description below and you'll be able to find Provis's video then whenever it comes out. A huge special thanks to my top supporters for the month of June, Drunk Binary, Mr. McFlu, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jacob Chinsky, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, Zara, The J. Baller, Blonde Damon, Draco R. Havis, Corbett, Shake Potamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Locking Glad, Harry, Hey Murado, Jay Cutchell, and Winkler, R. J. Pilot, and many more. You guys are awesome. Consider supporting if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.